Hey everyone, it's Travis here with Fish of Hex. Uh, this is one of my first videos of actually talking in here. I had a channel a while back. I kind of, you know, life took over and I stepped away and now I'm coming back. Here is the new build. Um, I'm actually going to go through and show you everything I have. This is the about 75 pounds of rock. I'm not really, I'm not really one of those people who fills the tank full of rock. Um, I found that this amount was good. You know, get loud caves and all that good stuff for the fish. You can see none of the rock touches the back of the tank. So the fish can swim in and around. Now this video is going to be on my phone. If it's a little shaky, I'll use the digital camera next time. So, starting off, I have the custom, uh, the overflow box, 120 or 1,200 gallons an hour. It actually is low profile on the inside, and it's bigger in the back. It allows the uh, quarter-inch pipes to go down the sump. The Jabo Wave Maker. Okay. Now let's go down to the sump here. Now it's a 55 gallon sump. I have dual refugium lights. As you can see here, it allows me to get a good spread on the Chado and the Calerpa. The BRS reactor with GFO and carbon. A bio pellet reactor, currently I only have 200, milliliter, 200 milliliters of uh, bio pellets. It's still in the breaking in phase, so I will test the nitri nitrates here in about a week, and then if I need to, I'll add more. Uh, JBO dosing pump, uh, just the regular additives. And then I have this custom manifold, which allows me to power those two devices. Curve 7 protein skimmer. And the outlet of my bio pellet reactor actually goes into the protein skimmer, allowing all that to be skinned before it heading back into the tank. I have all my additives being dosed into the bubble trap, so none of them get picked up by the skimmer. And that is the Jabo DC 6000 return pump. And sorry if it's shaky or it's moving too much. And that's my dog in the background barking. These are custom made uh, filter socks that I made out of felt. It's like 11 bucks, got a sewing machine, and I made uh, about 50 of them and I changed them every three days. So if you come over to here, I actually just added this. I don't know if you can see, it's a little dark. Yeah, it's a little dark here. It's actually a manifold. I have a refrigerator that sits here and everything will be, uh, all my dosing, my food, phytoplankton, all that will actually be dosed into here and head back into the tank. So that actually splits off of the manifold and goes back over. It sucks up all the nutrients or whatever I feel like dosing out of the refrigerator. It comes back out of this pipe over here, back down into the bubble trap, and then uh, into the DC pump and up into the main tank. So let's go ahead and take a look at lighting real quick. Again, sorry if it's shaky. Custom canopy, custom stand. These little brackets here that hold it up. So these are LED lights I picked up last year. They're 165 watt eBay LED lights, Chinese. They're like $110 then, now they're like 80 bucks. Anyways, they work great. The blues are at 100%, whites are at about 75%. Now I also use a mixture of T5, high output, 39 watts. They're a tinic, two itinic bulbs and two 10Ks. Really, I like the combination of the two. I don't like one or the other. I like them both together. And uh, right now, I'm currently dosing 80 milliliters of uh, soda ash and 80 milliliters of uh, calcium every day. And right now, my levels are pretty good, about 410 calcium and about 9.5 dKH. So it's, it's good. It's good to go. So I live in a small house here. So I actually had to convert one of my closets over here to a little fish room. So you see I got my filter socks, screen for when I, uh, LCD screen when I go ahead and add in my parameters, storage. I got here, I got my phytoplankton. Oops, knocking shit over. Really see that, or I do the phytoplankton and I dose that every day. All my fish. Junk, if you want to call it that, things I need. 30 gallon auto top off bucket, and then my quarantine tank here, which I actually have a uh, 
uh, powder brown and a really good size uh, hippo tang, and she won't come out, of course, but she's beautiful. And uh, right now they're in hypo salinity, and uh, they'll be in there for about another six weeks. But other than that, good to go. Have no fish deaths so far. And hypo salinity, once you see ick, is the only way that I've gone so far. It works out great. Anyways, that's the uh, fish room or fish closet. Alrighty. Well, I'm actually going to do some in-depth videos down the road um, of how I do what I do, how I made certain things, how I dose, how I take care of the tank, my maintenance, uh, what I do on aquatic log. I'll go through fish, coral, fragging, all that good stuff. So if you want to see anything, go ahead and uh, send me a message, and I'll be more than happy to make that video. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. Thanks. Bye.